pick up, then your thing comes up. That's all right. That should be there now. Okay. All right, now. Let's get some music going. Put some music on for a minute. Not that one. No. Wow. Come on, let's get something good going here. This one. for that I do not know how to fix that and probably don't have time to do that now uh, so I have my trusty assistant working on the chat so I will be focusing on the painting now hopefully that hopefully this works a bit better than the computer audio Let's have just a show of hands. Who thinks that that, not a show of hands, that's, wow, <laughs> so teacher. Let's give a comment if the sound was better as soon as I swapped over to the um, headset. Um, Waiting for some comments to come in. I don't know, I keep just listening to you. Swifty moves, thanks Joash. Great, so we've got moves, thanks Liz. So love you, Boots. Thanks, Nigel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I plan on having a lot of fun here today. Hand. He, I mean, she's putting her hand up. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. I understand, Liz. I, yep. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, today we are looking, uh, the last time I checked the, um, the vote, it looked like we are doing this guy again. So, we'll, um, we'll jump straight into some painting. We did, um, we did scales before we did the horns, before we did the eye. I have not gone back to do the other eye yet because... I really have a thought that I'm going to dig that eye out and make it a battle scar, but haven't got to that yet. So today, what I'm thinking is the belly, the claws, and if I can get around to doing a lot of this underneath part, I can get around to sticking him on his base, because I am really getting tired of seeing him just fall off. Anyway sits there for a while and gradually just gets a bit tired and droopy and tonk. Anyway, so shall we paint? I think that's a fantastic idea. Now, watch this. Hey. <laughs> okay, so how's that camera angle? Let's, um, mm, let's 
Let's fix that a little bit. And we're going to go... No, that's the wrong way. Okay. I'm going to just turn that... Uh, that way. There we go. Better. Alrighty. So, uh, if you have any questions while I'm painting, please type them in there. Uh, Emma is on the chat. She will uh, ask me and I'll give, get her response, uh, get her to respond or I'll respond here live. Anyway, let's get into it. <sighs> Actually, no, before we get into it, let me, um, let me just say thank you so much to everybody. Um, I really, really appreciate all the um, uh, all of the subscriptions and uh, the just the, the support that I've had from everybody during uh, during this year. This channel has been a huge amount of fun, and I I'm just going to keep doing it for as long as I can because it's it, it really is cool just to go. Yep, we're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. Here's Bailey. Message from Bailey. Thank you very much. Um, you'll watch for it later. Excellent. Cool. Um, okay. So let's get into this. Oh, a couple of other thank yous. Yes, I am using um, a video capture card for, uh, from school. So very big thank you to Matt Fisher for the loan of that. And I promise I will make sure it's back on your desk Monday morning. Uh, I would like to say uh, a big thank you to Amos Toe from Amos Doll Music. Uh, who gave me all the suggestions as to what sort of programs I need to use for that. Really, really appreciate that because this dual screen, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to giving that a, a try out. And uh, a final thank you to um, Abel Lynn, the TSO at school, for giving me all the help with the, the cables and making sure that everything was actually working. And I, I really, really appreciate all of the help, guys. Okay, that's it. Let's get into it. Um, we are going to start with the belly. So what I'm going to do here, all of this, uh, this belly part underneath, we are going to paint all of this a yellow. Um, and I'm going to paint that fairly quickly, if I can. Uh, we're starting off here with a Citadel Base Avalon Sunset. It's a much thicker paint. It'll go on a bit easier. And then... Um, we can go from there. All right, guys, fire off some questions. How is everybody doing? Enjoying the uh, enjoying the, the end of the exams, Year 12? I really, really was very proud of you guys. All right. Are there any Year 12s on here? Yep, there are some Year 12s on there. We've got Liz, we've got Nigel. Um, who else did I see? Oh, Bailey sent a message later saying that he was going to watch it later. Um, I know that we're going to have a few others join in a little bit later. Well, hang on, let's get that into there. Now, why am I doing the yellow? Well, there is there is an old. Oh, um, Liz asked, where do you get your brushes from? Where do I get my brushes from? Okay, I, I use a number of different brushes. This one that I'm using currently, Modifex. Um, Modifex brand is, is actually, I think, put out by Combat Company. They're a company down in Mortdale, just, uh, just past, Hurst, uh, just west of Hurstville. Um, they're an online company, gaming company. Um, and so I get a lot of paints and sprays and all sorts of supplies from them. Um, uh, they're a great bunch of guys down there. Um, but uh, yeah, the, okay, so this one's a mod effects. I've got AJ Lehman Hobbies. I really cannot remember where I bought that one from. Um, I've got other mod effects ones. Okay, this one is actually, I think, a Games Workshop. No, this is the Army Painter Hobby Precision Detail Brush. 
And what's this last one here? This one is a Games Workshop Citadel uh, small base coating brush. So I, I will get brushes from anywhere. I really don't have um, a solid preference there. Um. You need to move your dragon towards your right hand side a bit and lower down just a little. Yeah, actually. Um, MD. MD. Thank you. Um, hang on. That's. Uh, did I move that the right way? No, I didn't. No. no hang, on, hang on. Hang on. Let's let's see. Let's see. This is why I sort of need. They just said the dragon, not the camera. I know, but if I move the camera, there we go. How's that? All right. Yeah, it's good. All right, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, Martina's here. Hey, Martina. All righty. I feel like I have picked some wrong scales there to paint, but I'll go back and fix it up later. All right. So we're going to just get this down real, real fast because we need that to then dry to go on to the next, next layering. Yeah, I think I've definitely gone over there where I shouldn't. This bit here, I don't think it should be red. All right. Do I want to know? Sophie said, can I say hi to Emma? <laughs> well, Sophie, I guess you did say hi to Emma. <laughs> hi, Sophie. Uh, I'm not Emma, by the way. Just, just <laughs> making, making that point abundantly clear. All right. Okay. Uh, now, I was about to say, why am I painting the chest yellow? Well, for my HSC, I, I made a full dragon costume. This guy always reminds me of that. The, um, the shirt that I was wearing in the last live stream was reminiscent of it. Um, Liz said, Sir is the best DIY queen on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, not so sure about that one, Liz. I, I have been watching a lot of people that are absolutely amazing, but I really, um, I'm really having a lot, okay, of, um, a lot of fun. Sophie said, can I get a shout out for my Make-A-Wish? Okay, what's your Make-A-Wish? Uh, she, uh, she said, well beforehand she said, also I'm basically dying. I'm having an allergic reaction to my iron transfusion. So, I'm guessing yes. Okay. Um, Sophie, maybe you need to hop off the live stream and go seek medical attention. Hmm. Uh, uh, Josh said, do you still have the costume? And Martina said, what does your shirt say, sir? Oh, okay. Firstly, yes, I do still have the costume. Unfortunately, I can't find the wings. Um, they were they were beautiful, but um, they sort of opened and closed as you moved your arms as well. So it had universal joints so that the, the whole thing was interconnected. Um, but the majority of the costume is actually sitting in G232. Yep, there you go. Uh, because I had nowhere to store it and I just put it in the club storeroom at school. So, yep, that is at school. Uh, now, what does my shirt say? Okay, this is the shirt that we got done for Clash of the Titans. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this, let's do this. Okay, so we got this done for Clash of the Titans. I said, I was at the 10th anniversary of Clash of the Titans. And it's so, uh, Millennium 3. 01502221 slash 22, which means the 21st and 22nd of February 2015 in the third millennium. There we go. It's a technical thing, and there, there's a, uh, a forerunner of our little tech priest that um, 
Okay, so this one wasn't drawn by Alice, this one was actually drawn by Momo. Uh, Jonathan Mo, who was one of our club officers many, many years ago. Um, so he, uh, he drew that one, and the current tech priest is the one that I <laughs> have at the end of the, uh, the videos that I do. Okay, um, you're going to be on Sophie's Snap Story tomorrow. Hey. And MD Sophie. Said, and Mum said, not just the dragon costume, we still have too many things we still have. <gasps> Scared face. Yep. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay. How far down the tail should I do this. I'm thinking I should go all the way down here. Oh, that paint's starting to dry out just a little bit. All right, let's continue this up. All right. It doesn't link completely, but I can fudge that a little bit. That's rocking the table. Thank you. Um, I can fudge the... Okay, so... <laughs> I keep moving the dragon around. Okay. Um, what I'm doing here is painting a line along here for the belly. There's not actually a groove as such. So what I'm going to do later is maybe cut into that belly... Com uh, that tail part, make a groove that um, can then hide the fact that this is going over. Or, oh, hang on, wait, 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 I could, I could, I could, no, I couldn't, no, that doesn't work, okay, we're just going down. All right, all right, keep them questions coming, guys. Year twelve. What was your what was your best and worst exam? Um. Uh, so um, they're talking about how Sophie just killed a bug, and um, I'm you better read the chat. Okay, just... Uh, Eilish, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Eilish? That. Yeah, um, it says standard math exam was evil. Right, okay. Give me a second, let me have a look at... What, what is going on there? I'm confused. Um, Alright, I'm... Too many things happening here at once. Let's have a look at that chat. My goodness, there's a lot of chats there. Uh, Matias said business was the best exam, math was the worst. Uh, Sophie, language. Sophie, language. Yes, don't, don't. Okay, we're going to watch the language in here because there are kids watching. Thank you. <laughs> Matina, I got your back. Everybody else, leave her alone. <laughs> All right, we're going back to the painting. Oh, <laughs> that chat is crazy. Okay, so... We have a mostly yellow belly right now. I think I've gotten all the, the bits of it. Um, and a couple of extra bits. All right, so there we go. We have a mostly yellow belly. All good. They put the same questions advanced math had into the standard exam. We never learned how to solve oh, yeah. Yes, I heard about that. That was 
fun. Um, That's... And Mum said, a quick question, roughly how long will it take to finish the painting for such a big dragon? Never. Yes, it will done. never finish. <laughs> Because the moment I put away, it's going to get scratched or something, and it'll have to touch it up again. Or I'll take it out and go, oh, I don't like that bit, I'm going to do that bit again. You should know by now, with my painting, it's always a case of, no, it's never finished. And I think that's why I always I leave like so many things unfinished, because then I don't have to say, yes, I've finished that, but now I'm going to do it again. And Ailey said, I like the blending in the dragon's wing. Yeah, the wings. Okay, so look at that. Uh, I did talk about this in the last live show. They were done with my airbrush, um, and I was really, really happy with how it came out. Um, I'm still thinking I might do some more just through the middle, just to make it a bit lighter. But at the moment, I'm, I'm liking how that is looking so fleshy. Uh, that part's really nice. Okay, so the yellow's going okay there. Let's very quickly... Oh, I don't have any brown out. Let's go. Let's get some brown. Um, all right. I've got brown, brown, brown. There, one, two, and three. Do I need any of the other colours? No, I think I'm right there. All right. Who just passed it to David? Oops. What did you do? I dropped my painting thing so there's something just hit and then we are probably broken some models but oh, congratulations anyway. oh well we'll deal with that one later okay something went flying off the table i don't know what it was it was a paintbrush <laughs> a paintbrush that's okay <laughs> um okay so brown we're gonna start with a beastly brown not a beastie brown, not a beastly brown, and I'm going to paint those claws. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Sophie asked, is Cam on chat? So, I don't know. Is Cam on chat? Well, it, I don't know. He's your boyfriend, shouldn't you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on. Hey, that's a bit too much brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to change brushes, get a slightly finer detail, not my really fine detail. Uh. <laughs> Mum said, I would like it to be finished, if it is possible. You and me both, Maddie. You and me both. But I think we know it's <laughs> never going to happen. All right. All right, let's get some claw action going. Um, if you remember when I did the um, horns um, in the last session. <laughs> Martina said, can we have a life advice Q&A session one day? Isn't that basically us going back to class? <laughs> Weren't so many of our class sessions Q&A life advice? <laughs> I don't think they would be against that, though. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Hey, that's what yum char is for. Yeah. So, anyway, as I was saying, so with the, um, with the horns... Yeah, Martina would like to go back to your class. <laughs> I believe I said almost the exact same thing Right before you guys were all finishing up, I said, you just wait, you'll all want to come back. So, Martina's just the first one. Um, this is what Sophie said. Emma asks Sir if he hates the homeless. No, I don't. Vegans, now that's a different story. <laughs> Nigel, you said, can we get Yum Cha? <laughs> Nigel, can we get Yum Cha? The answer would be an, an emphatic, hell yes. <laughs> We're organised to do that in December, I think, once you guys have all finished and um, signed out. And we'll go for Yum Cha. That sounds stellar. 
I keep putting this off shot. Alright guys, I have a question for you. Um, uh, Josh asks, sir, why do we have Ms. Lee's class? <laughs> what, what? Uh, Josh asks, sir, why do we have Ms. Lee's class? What do you mean, why do we have Ms. Lee's class? You mean, are you in the class where we're swapping rooms? Is that for your class? Oh, um, room. Rooms. Room. Oh, okay. Uh, Mrs. Lee needed the desks. Okay. And Mum asked, is the belly going to be yellow or will you put on another layer of colour? Uh, we're putting on several layers of colour. What I'm doing at the moment is just waiting for that yellow to dry completely. I then have a yellow wash uh, and yellow highlight to do. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so while that's drying, I'm just doing the next stage of okay, painting. Okay, um, Matina asked, I have a question. How is Big Ben going? Matina, when are you coming back? <laughs> I think that answers your question, doesn't it? Um, Big Band in general is going well. Um, this has been a really, really bad year for all of the ensembles and I, I'm, I'm feeling very, very sorry for everyone in the ensembles, but year 12, really, to, to have missed out on so many things this year, like final chance, final chance, final chance. And then it's all gone, and you didn't really get to do them. I, I, I was just gutted. I really was. Liz asked, you all want to see my renegade. Your renegade? What does that the mean? TikTok dance, I think. TikTok dance? Uh, yeah, I'm not a TikTok fan. <laughs> Liz, I'm sure you do it really, really well. But no, that's, that's okay. I'm not going to get into TikTok. All right, okay, so my question I was going to ask before, um, of all of my videos, which ones do you enjoy the most? What sort of style? Do you enjoy the painting ones? Do you enjoy the terrain ones? Uh, <laughs> upcycling ones? What, uh, what sort of things are you enjoying the most out of my sessions? All right. Well, I just realized I still haven't actually painted the bone on the teeth there, so when I get to the bone later, I can do that on these as well. Uh, Joe, I said painting. Painting? Mm -hmm. uh, painting the terrain or painting the models? Uh, you just said paintings. Paintings. And Alyssa okay. said all of them. <laughs> and then people are trying to get me to do the renegade. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, Liz, you can you can be the renegade there. That's fine. I am not going. To... I think I know who one of them is. Well, one of them, Sophie. I think the other one's Talia. Okay. Uh, Nigel, you said to be honest, your your videos are so relaxing. It's like ASMR. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel. I really appreciate it. Actually. That's, that's really quite ironic because I would say the same about when I would sit and listen to you playing piano in class. That was always just, that, that was my relaxation, you know. It was always a case of, oh, ho, hum, I have to go listen to Year 12 play music. <laughs> it was, uh... Uh, Matina said, can we have an ASMR video for 300 subscribers, sir? What is an ASMR video? ASMR. ASMR. 
Um, I, I really, I have no idea. Don't know. Um, without the acronym, tell me what an ASF actually. I searched it up on Google. And said, I don't know. If this is something that I really don't want my daughter searching up on Google. It, I think it's fine. Hmm. Uh, it says autonomous sensory meridian response. But I think Google's wrong. <laughs> nope, it's right. Okay. It's when you whisper and talk quietly to the microphone. Me talk quietly? Oh, okay. <laughs> I suppose we could do that. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here are claws from a dragon! Um... Um, so, um, someone said, I love skipping school. <laughs> Preby had said that. I don't know. Who this, was that? Um, it, this is... <laughs> Who's, who was it? Wait, look. <laughs> what does that say? Uh, Poopy head. Yeah. And well, Poopy Head, based on your name, we are probably <laughs> pleased you're skipping school too. Anyway, that's that's odd. That I'm sorry, that's odd. What? what? Um, right. All right. I feel like I need um, to. Um, Soapy said, "Can we get a mukbang?" What is it? Can we? Soapy said, "Can we get a mukbang?" A mukbang. Um, uh, it's also known as an eating show. My first response just then was, um, can someone bring me some chips? And then, um, tech, and then Ailish said, tech adepts play FNAF. Five Nights at Freddy's. Now what I know. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I know all of those references, but... So, um, Ailey said, Tegadet plays FNAF at 300 subs. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh my god, what is that? Well, okay, so there's a, there's a question. Oh, Should I do the next live show at 300, or where I originally um, suggested, which was when we get to 500? Or should I change this now and make the painting, the, the live painting, a bit more regular and do something different for when we get to the 500 subs? Hobo Joe Senior said, Con consume the paint, sir. I am not consuming the paint, thank you very much, Andres. What about the paint thinner? Not paint uh, thinner either. <laughs> so, um, Martina, 300 subs ASMR. 400 subs, mukbang, and 500 subs, Minecraft. Minecraft? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then Cameron Joseph said, can we get a face reveal at 500 subs? A face, <laughs> do you think there's another one behind this, really? Am I Red Skull to you? Is that what this is? Was it down with the paint water? That's what I have you say. Oh, Don't dox me, sir. By the way, Andreas, your um, algorithmic pushing comments, I have just seen them on Black Magic Craft as well. Yes. Look, Tomas said 5,000 subs Minecraft server. Matina, 600 subs release an original song. Oh yeah, that one I could do. <laughs> okay. Original songs. Okay, so I, I do have a lot of songs that I have written. There's only one problem. Every time I sit down and start recording an album, and I have tried a number of times, um, I end up getting a transfer. Um, so it seems like every time I start recording, I move. As a poopy head said, can we get a Snakes and Ladders stream? Who the hell is poopy head? <laughs> Snakes and ladders? It sounds like Hawaii, what you would do. Jeez. Oh, Snakes and ladders, uh, really. Ailey said 500 subs Discord server. Joash said, OMG, he should do a draw my life. 
No, no, my, my drawing skills are very, very lax. I, I don't do a lot of drawing, so... But anyway, okay, one of the things that I put up as a suggestion for today's <laughs> so channel... Said, so okay, just a, just a second, this? just a second. Um, one of the things that uh, I put up was to do a speed build um, of, of something. So how I, all of that, uh, that terrain that I, well, here we go, all of that terrain that oh, I was doing before, Dad. Dad. I was thinking about doing a speed build of a barn. Okay, so questions. Sophie said, so I can play Among Us, and then um, everyone, oh, um, Alias, Joe Ash, and Martino all wants um, Among Us. So now Liz said speed build sounds great. Hmm. Yeah. So the speed build I thought might have got some votes. Um, but yeah, no one voted for it. Uh, and when I say votes, I don't mean like on YouTube. I mean like I posted this to my Facebook friends, to the D and D groups that I'm in. Those things that. You know, that I, I know there's a lot of people that have been following me and, and maybe not subscribing but really enjoying them. And yeah, not one person said, yeah, do the speed build. It was all the dragon, the ant, the chaplain, let's do those. So they're the ones that I put down as the options for the live show. All right. Okay, um, so Boopy Head said, if no snakes and ladders, can we please have a Monopoly stream? Oh Kevin my God. Joseph said, can we do a slow build? I won't be able to keep up. And um, Sophie, Sophie said, okay, but I have a legit question. Have you ever seen two pretty best friends? Um, I don't know. And Matina said, Lego speed build, please. A Lego speed build. Mm, okay. Um, I still haven't. Okay. Ailish gave me the, um, the, the Lego. <laughs> Literally, I still haven't actually even opened it yet. I wondered about doing a, um, a, a reveal, hey, open. But uh, I sort of feel like those sorts of unboxings are better for like the, the massive things like, hey, the Millennium Falcon or the Opera House, which I see sitting over there, which would be a lot of fun to build again. Um, so hmm. Luke Pringle said, painting Wall Street with instructions, and then he said, Ikea furniture speed build. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Ikea furniture speed build, that, that There's sounds nothing like a wrong with it, it's just funny. <laughs> I always like, um, uh, Ikea furniture, I always remember um, Bill Bailey, his, uh, his comment in The Remarkable Guide to the Orchestra. He says, like, Mamma Mia, you know, it's like a, it's like a piece of, it's like being hit over the head by, with a piece of Ikea furniture. You know, it hurts, but you've got to admire the workmanship. <laughs> um, all right. I have not ever seen Mamma Lee except for the video, so I don't know what the live show is like. All right, let's um, get some more done on that. Josh said, IKEA furniture speed build without instructions. And um, Poopyhead said, oh, attempt a pencil sharpening speed run. Yeah, that's it so far. All right, okay. Oh, um, let me said... let me give a few little guidelines here as to what we what we might do. Something related to games that I play. <laughs> so Minecraft. Yes, okay. So Minecraft. <laughs> I don't mind that. That's all right. Okay. Um, Liz said waffles and pancakes cooking tutorial. Cameron said pancake speed builds. Okay. Well, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see, where did that go? Where did that go? <laughs> uh, Ruby has said, Sunway Surfers Stream, I think it means Subway. Um, and Kayla said, Monopoly Speed, Man Monopoly Speed Run. Right, yeah, okay. I don't know about a Monopoly Speed Run. Okay, I think we're, we're right to do the belly now. I'm gonna do the next layer. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, Tina said, Among Us game is your favorite class ever, in brackets, 2020 Music 1. Are they my favorite class? <laughs> I don't have favorite classes. I don't. Okay, I love them all. So. 
And I think the moment I really stop loving teaching you guys, that's, that's when I'll stop. This year was hard. And it's not because of the class, it's okay, um, because of all of that. Okay, lockdown. Cameron said, can you do your best Bob Ross impression? And Poopy Head said, can you do more Warhammer 40k content? Okay, um, that narrows down who Poopy Head is. Aha, uh -huh. a 40k player, right. He's giving himself away. Um, all right, can I do more 40k content? Yes, I can, and I would like to do that. The only thing is, at the moment, I am really not playing 40k. Um, I am mainly playing D&D. That is the, the main game that I am doing. All right, let me just show this this right now. Okay, uh, I am using Citadel, Citadel Shade Seraphim Sepia. It's a yellow wash, and I am very, very liberally applying that to all of the yellow down through that tail. Uh, all along the chest oh my God. Um, because this is going to give me my shading um, all right I'm going to try and put that into the shot a bit more look at the way that that is uh, drawing out all of the the shades and colors there okay so, uh, we have more requests now so um remember this uh uh, Cameron, can you do your best Bob Ross impression? Well, I was trying to do my best Bob um, Ross impression. White Viper said, Sir, want to play some Call of Duty with me? Liz oh. said, I just want a dance for live stream. I, and, so, I think a just dance for live stream would be awesome. And Matthew Andy said, I want a violin concert. <laughs> no. No, my God, I haven't played my violin properly in years. So <laughs> that is a, that's a no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, two, two more. Uh, Luke, three, three, um, Luke, Luke Pringle said karaoke stream. Poopy Head said, What is your favorite book? And Joe Ash said, Sir, dance to K pop. <laughs> I like my sanity, I'm not dancing to K pop. Okay. Uh, um, Kayla says, I vote yes for violin concerts. No, 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 we're not doing a violin concert. That's, it's not gonna happen. That's, I, I want to. I want to retain subscribers. That's. Um, can you just ask? Can you play "Summer" by Vivaldi on violin? Thank you. No. All right. Okay. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not pulling out my violin. All right. So let's have a look at that now. Let me just close that pot. Okay. Just a little point. Um, washers and ink pots are the only ones that I will actually leave open while I'm using them because they don't dry out anywhere near as uh, quickly as what do normal normal paint pots. Um, so that's, uh, it's always a good idea to close your paint pots. These ones, you can leave them open for a little bit because you, uh, it's not gonna dry up in the amount of time that, that you've got it open. The rest of the time, take the paint out, put it on a piece of plastic. Plastic is, I, I think, the best way to do it because it doesn't, it doesn't soak up the moisture. Putting it onto newspaper or something like that, it'll draw out the moisture. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. Uh, let's see if I can get that in a better shot. Um, so I have gone and washed the belly, giving him a good little bath there. Nice little boy. Um, and that that ink, so not not that ink, that that wash will give a huge amount of shading to that area um, and it does it very very fast uh, okay yeah, um, so Herbo Joe Senior said do some caramel dancing White Viper said what are you doing right now I don't understand what is the topic Alice said paint that doesn't dry out that's cool uh, but Herbo Joe Senior said it does dry out and it hurts it, it yeah. does dry out. I mean, uh, let's just not get it wrong. The, the, the washes, they do dry out. But when you're looking at that, that you are leaving it open for 30 seconds to a minute, that's fine. You close back up, you, you do it again. Give it a shake, off you go. If it does tend to dry out, get, get, a drop of, uh, get a drop of bottle of water and put some water into that, mix it back up again. Because essentially, if it dries out, it is the water that is going to be drying out. You can remix that with the pigment. Done. Um, 
it works a bit harder for paints. If they tend to dry out or if they're getting sludgy, you might want to get yourself a mixing medium or a, a paint thinner to add into that, um, just to revitalize that, uh, that paint. All right, this guy needs to dry for a bit, so... Uh, Poopy had said, when will we get the Scrabble live stream? Um, never. No, no Scrabble live stream. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. What are we doing now? Okay, I'm going to put this aside for a minute because I don't really want to keep moving it about while that ink is drying. Why don't we get some work done on the base? Now, the base. Let's have a look here. Um, what I've already done with the base, um, it is... What about chess? Uh, no, no, we're gonna we're gonna stick to things for like D and D, forty k, Warhammer Fantasy, or Kings of War uh, is the the newer one of that that I play. Um, I might do some. Actually, one thing that I do want to do for another build is show some of the the laser cut designs that I've done. Um, if if that would interest people, you've seen one of the two-story buildings that I've done in a number of um, the intro-outro um, scenes that I've done. Um, always have it to show that sort of stuff off, but they do take a lot longer to build, so therefore I haven't done a video on that yet. Liz said, what is the base made of? And Hobo Joe Senior said, uh, we should, well, he said, 3D printed chess pieces. 3D printed chess pieces, now that sounds a little bit more interesting. The Pokemon set. Yeah. Um, I did, a number of years ago, I actually um, 3D printed a Pokemon chess set for my son for Christmas. Uh, and we got through most of the painting, just not all of it. Okay, answering Liz's question. Okay, so this is a hard polymer plastic, which is made of the same material uh, that the, the dragon is made of. Uh, and he sort of slots into the uh, into the base. Uh, I can't get in it like that. Um, and so this is actually only one part of the base. the The base, when it locks in all together, uh, makes an entire ruin. Uh, um, most of a most of a building. And there's sort of other parts that sort of lean up around and. Uh, it gets to a point where there can be a figure standing on a parapet, almost looking straight into the eyes of the dragon. All right. Yes. Okay. Um. Luke, thoughts on new Necon releases? Poopy head. What is your favorite book? Liz and Alish. What What's your favorite Pokemon? And Hobo Josina. Thoughts on new Primos releases? Okay, let's take those one at a time. Thoughts on the new Necron uh, model? I think the new Necron models actually look really cool. I, I haven't seen a lot of them. One thing which Games Workshop tends to be doing, which I don't like, is all of the new stuff seems to be getting a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. They increase the base sizes. Why did they do that? My own cynicism, and I think it's right, but my own cynicism is increase the base size, then all of those companies that create grids and bases don't get business. They have to buy the Games Workshop bases. Um, I, I am... I'm an old school gamer. I have models that are older than most of you guys. Uh, I have armies that are older than most of you guys. <laughs> um, the, the Blood Angels that I showed in that um, soda can, um, the, the tin can silos, um, most of that army was from the mid 90s. Um, yeah, so that most of that army, most of that army I, I got when I it was in the mid 90s. Well, struggling to get those words out right now. Um, okay. What's your favorite book? That was the next favorite book, favorite book. Oi. It always was um, Lord of the Rings, and I do feel like that is still one of my favourite books. However, uh, however, I am now a I'm a massive fan of Dan Abnett. Dan Abnett is a 40k writer. Um, he is a brilliant writer, 
Um, there's a lot of books that he has put out through Games Workshop's Black Library um, that I find absolutely enthralling. Now, if you're not a 40k player, they won't be as interesting for you. But still, his style of writing is, I think, exceptional. Um, What's your favourite Pokemon? Favourite Pokemon? Mm, I don't really... I'm not really a Pokemon fan. Um, I don't know. I don't know. From what I've seen you guys watching, I like that little... So like a fox, like a fire Fennecan? type fox? I don't know what it is. A Volpix? I don't know. Fire type fox that... It's, anyway. Okay, this is... Uh, um, I, I don't know so what they next are. next one. Thoughts on new Primaris, Primaris releases? Okay, thoughts on the new Primaris releases. Oh, look. Again, I think the models are beautiful. Um, <laughs> love the models. I, I love that Space Marines are finally getting a little bit of an update in terms of their model range. What I don't like is that they seem to be replacing the old Space Marines, and that's, I think, something that is going to happen. Um, I don't want them to be replaced. I want it to be added to. All right. We've got a couple of piles of coins here which I'll get to in a minute. I've got still a lot of this brown. So what I'm thinking of doing is, like on a lot of the other videos that I've done, I'm going to pick out certain stones and, and what Wait, have you. Wait, sorry, I forgot there were more questions. Um, yeah? So, next one. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Pippi has said, is cereal soup? Why or why not? Cereal soup? Mm -hmm. Don't know. Um, then, no idea. then Martina said, very important question. Do you play Tetris? If yes, what's your fastest sprint? Oh, cool. okay. I don't actually play Tetris. <laughs> my Tetris is packing the car uh, or packing the club storeroom. That's my Tetris. <laughs> you would, or when the big band goes out, I play Tetris with the car <laughs> um, to put all of the equipment away. Uh, but yeah. I, in, in terms of computer games, I really don't get a lot of time to play computer games. I haven't really played computer games in the past 10 years? 10 years, maybe? Two more questions. One, have you read the Margos? Or Mar Margos? Um, and two, a little girl wants to go sc scooting. Maybe she can go around the backyard? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you got your answer. Now, the, um, um, have you okay. read the Margos? Margos. I don't know the series. Okay. No, no, I don't know the series. Um, okay. Let's let's just pick out another couple of stones here. Uh, White Viper said my mate is really interested in Warhammer. I don't know anything about it. Since it's Christmas, I was wondering what I should get him. Hmm. Okay, start asking some subtle hints. What army do you play? How many? Like, tell me, how many points size game do you normally play? Point size will be interesting because if they play large scale point sizes, they probably don't need anything. If they play small point sizes, then they probably could use a tank or they could use um, a. Um, some sort of elite unit. Those sorts of things are good additional purchases for people that already have a collection. But um, yeah, if they already play very, very large games, and when I say large games, I'd be looking 5,000 points plus. 5,000 points plus, they don't need anything. They need a new hobby <laughs> uh, or a new army. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so we've just picked out a couple of stones and that, not, not many, just the odd one here or there. Um, now, what? What? Um, you have probably seen in the uh, in some of the shows that I've done, where I um, I do all of the various different colours for the stones. Why do I do that? Well, oh, what's that? That looks like a 
chest, is that a chest? That looks like a chest. <gasps> that looks like another chest. Okay, we definitely have the treasure hoard here, that's for sure. Um, okay, we're going we're gonna to paint some treasure. Um, okay, what do I need? I need a metal, and I'm not going to throw my paint tray away this time. <laughs> that yellow is still drying. It will take a while. All right. We're going to do, 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 take a few different colors there. Um, Um, okay, painting metal. You could go a a really nice gold. This this gold here. Turn it the right way. Gehenna gold. Okay, it's a very bright gold, and that's a that's a good color to do coins. However, painting that straight on won't go so well. You are better off to do something like a base color gold, uh, this Balthazar gold. It's a bit darker, it's a bit thicker, it goes on easier and smoother. You paint that first, you dry brush with the light color second. Same thing, this is not a base color, but it's a, it's a darker metal, you know, darker iron sort of color. Gun metal, this one's from Game Color. Whoops, let's get that in the shot there. Gun metal, wow, come on. Oy, oy, oy. Don't shine. Okay, uh, and then second, I have a, a chainmail silver here, which is um, again a lot brighter. So let's get some of that going in there. I see some um, some weapons in there. I'm going to dump a little bit of that silver. So the uh, the gun metal. Now I definitely need a finer detail brush. Let's see here. That's not a fine detail brush enough. Let's get rid of that one. Go. We're going to go full fine detail. Oh, oh, that's already splaying. Anyway, let's see with some paint in it. That might be better. That's better. All right. Right in here, there is a sword. So I'm just going to paint that bit of the sword. I'm going to rust that up later. We have a shield. Let's get some silver on that shield. What next? Let's look at that side. Are they coins or is that like a piece of chainmail? I don't know. It almost looks like books. Uh, like Viper said, you should get a donation bar set up. I reckon you might get some donations. I might, but I sort of feel bad about doing that, and I, I'm not really keen to do that at the moment. The reason, be, and I, I appreciate that, the reason why I don't want to do that, where is my following base? It is students, and I'm not going to do that to you guys. I do uh, this for you, not so that you can pay me. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Eventually, yes, I'd, I'd love to this. Uh, I'd love for this to earn me some money, but that's that's not why I'm doing it. I guess, um, Poopy Head said, "What's the most ridiculous fact you know?" The most ridiculous fact I know. Mm-hmm. Not a clue. I, I know some really strange things, but um, let's do it. read and write Elvish. Uh. Um, so, Wolfbox TV said, 
Hello from a, for, from a former Adept's 40k captain. Glad to see the club is still around. Shame about Cot this year. I have to check out the next one. Matt. 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 40k. Matt. Mm, ah. Yes. Matt. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm trying to remember last name. Try, last name. Last name. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, damn it. Oh. Hearn. Hearn. Is it Matt Hearn? Mm -hmm. um, thoughts on the Music One oral exam from Alish? Yep. Did you guys like the questions? I think we. It is Hearn. It is Hearn, yay! <laughs> oh my god, Matt Hearn. Wow, when did you graduate? That was like. Back to the oral exam. Back in like 2010, was it? I feel like it was like 2010. I know it was a it was a fair while ago oh, that. The oral exam. Yeah, the oral yeah. exam. Yeah. So, Ailish, what did you think about it? And he said, "What are your thoughts on the music one exam?" Oh, what are my thoughts on the music? Okay. Yes. I was so so happy when I saw those questions. Why? Because we had basically done almost carbon copies of those questions in our teams meeting, um, in the, the holiday session, uh, in the last week of term, we had basically covered questions of almost identical nature. And I was just so, so thrilled when I saw those questions, like, yes, yes. The musical examples I really enjoyed. I thought they were good examples. I think there was a lot of things that you guys could have talked about, and I'm I'm really hoping that um, that you've done well because I, I think I think it was set up very well for you with the prep that we have done. Okay, um, so a couple of things. So Matt says 2011 was when he finished tech. Oh, so close. Okay. Ayla said the music examples were nice, but the questions were hard to get around. Hobo Joe Senior said, how's it coming along in the real world, coming from a student with one exam left in the HSC? And um, Poopy Head said, is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Um, okay, let's talk about the hot dog first. <laughs> a hot dog. Okay, I, I am going to give a shout out to uh, an old classmate of mine. He probably is not watching this, but that's okay. Craig McComb, um, a guy I went to school with. Now, we, we would sometimes, once I'd gone to uni, uh, I'd come back, we'd go out to the local nightclubs in Tamworth. And I mean, I'm not a, a big sort of nightclub person. Oftentimes, I'd be going out to see Craig because he ran the hot dog stand in front of the, uh, in front of Brumby's, Brumby's Hotel. So he'd go out for a couple of drinks on a, on a Friday or Saturday night, and he'd get a hot dog from your mate. That was, that, was a, that was a good night. Now, he made the best hot dogs I think I've ever had. That nice, simple bun, uh, sausage, and onion on the bottom, cheese on the top. Oh, my mouth is watering just thinking about this. Is um, it a sandwich or not? It, oh, is a hot dog a sandwich? Sorry, mm. I thought you were asking hot dog or sandwich. <laughs> okay, <laughs> clear questions there, poopy head. <laughs> no, that, that was my fault. I think I um, said it incorrectly. Right, okay. But is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Uh, no, it's a hot dog. Um, just like it's not a hamburger. Um, so a, a hot dog is based on a bun. A sandwich is based on two separate slices of bread. So no, a hot dog is not a um, is is not a sandwich. However, if you split that bun, then you've made the hot dog into a sandwich, and now it's no longer a hot dog. And then um, the Hobo Joe Senior said, how's it coming along in the real world, coming from a student with one exam left in the HTC? Okay, I'm guessing that he was asking Matt, <laughs> and not me. Um, 
because I'm still at school. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a little bit of little bit of gold going on. I don't know if you guys can actually see that at the moment. It's looking very, very bright, very bright. Does that, does that show up okay? All of that detail in there? Can everyone see it? It's lagging. So yeah, I, I know it's I know it's gonna be lagging. That that's that's fine. Yeah, it shows up okay. All right. So, I mean, we have a dragon's treasure hoard here. So, obviously, there's gonna be lots of things in there. Um. All right. I think. That yellow is almost looking dry, but oh my god, it's six o'clock. Where did that time go? You talking a lot. Me talking. That's kind of why we, we're talking. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. Uh, um, Thanks. Taylor asked, hey sir, what's it like having more free periods now that we're gone? Um, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Every time I look at my timetable and I see you guys on the timetable, it's like, I think I'll have a cup of tea. But um, having the spare time is it, it is really good. Um, it was a very, very busy time, as you guys would know. Um, and I mean, I don't begrudge you guys my time in any way, shape or form, but it is nice to relax a little. Only thing is, we're now coming into the season four, stage five, with the recording class. So they're starting to take up my lunch times and recesses and every other imaginable piece of free time that I have. So, um, when is the next school musical, and can I be in it from Matina? Whoa. At this stage, there is still no talk about a school musical, unfortunately. Um, we have to wait and see what happens for next year. We may be able to, um, we may be able to do something for the following year, um, but we are, we have missed the boat for for doing something next year. Uh, and that was always going to happen. Um, all right. Um, and can you be in it? Why, 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 My dear, why? I absolutely wish that I could have you back for every musical from here on out. Um, uh, that would why, be fantastic. White Viper said, Sir, do you know every person in the 8th Music 2012 class? Hang on. In the eight music two thousand and twelve. Eight music two thousand and twelve. As in, mu did music in year eight in two thousand twelve. I think so. Yes. Two thousand and twelve. Okay, so that would mean thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Graduated twenty sixteen. Okay, white viper. Is it White Viper? Yeah. White Viper. The fact that you're only saying about the... 2000... No, um, eight, no, year 8, 2020, class 12. Oh, okay. Wow, nice and... Yeah, nice and clear. Okay. Yeah, I understand so, that. yes, I now know who you're talking about. Okay. Wait, I can... David said year 8, 2020, class 12, and then White Viper said no, 8 music tw 8 uh, music 12. 12? 8 music 12, okay. Yep, alright, so. White Viper. White Viper. Who would that be? 8 music 12. I know the class, but let's see. Who would call themselves White Viper? Oh, um, so, uh, 
So Sean said, well, not really questions, mm -hmm. but he said, you're Mr. Fulton and what's up, Mr. Fulton? And then Poopy Head said, you can choose any superpower. What do you choose? Fly. Fly? Okay. There's a reason I have a Superman belt buckle. White Viper. White Viper. Hint, it's not Harrison. No, I think it's Christian. I think it's Christian. And if it's not Christian, hmm. If it's not Christian, then I think it might be Michaela. Okay. He said first guess. There you go. See? There we go. All right. People wonder why I find out things. <laughs> Being observant. All right, uh, guys. I think we are. We're we're sort of we're running out of time. Um, it's already after six. So let's just put this guy back on here. We have a dragon now. Oh, on a base. We have a little bit more done. Um, we are gradually getting there. Uh, I think what I might try and do between now and the next session if if we do the dragon again I'm going to try and get some more of him painted up um, okay Let, let's, uh, before we go let's show one scale I'm taking what's it called Uriel yellow okay so it's a much brighter yellow than the one that we started with I'm going to be wiping off most of the paint. Now, let's just see at the top here. I've wiped off most of the paint. I'm using a very broad brush. Um, Hobo Joe Sr. said, Have you read any Eisenhorn novels oh, yeah. by Dan Abbott? Eisenhorn, yeah. Eisenhorn is one of those series that I absolutely love of Dan Abbott. It's, he, he is brilliant. I mean... As I said, I, I'm old school. I've actually got the Eisenhorn models from when they released um, Inquisitor, the, the uh, 54 mil game. Um, which, I believe, Matt Hearn, if you are still still around the watching... The compilation is called The Margos. <laughs> Magos. Magos. Now I know what you're... I said I didn't know how to pronounce it. Oh, not the, the Magos, way. the Magos. Yes, okay, I now know. I know what we're talking about. Oh, um, Genie wow. Style Connor said, I like your cut, G. And then someone said, uh, he's his best friend from a different school. So, basically, Genie Style Connor said, I like your cut, G. Right, okay. Alright, so, there we go. I've just done a couple of those scales there. So there we go. You can see there I've added a little bit of colour. What I do now, I add white. This is just a Army Painter matte white. I'm adding that to the, um, the yellow that I had before. And again, just going over the very tips of those scales. I don't want to do too much of that because otherwise it's going to end up getting to the point where you have to do so much extra to get that looking right all the way through. All right. There we go. Let's see if I can get that into the shot. Okay, everyone see that okay? You can see here I've just done what one, two, three, four, five of the scales. You can already see just in that shot 
how much more this shines as opposed to these ones down here. Now it's not so much that they are shining, it's that they are highlighted. Um, so I will continue that down through the whole way there uh, and we'll, um, we'll get that going there. All right, guys, I think we are, I think we're, we're done. 6.15, um, that is probably a good point to finish off. All right, did you enjoy it? <laughs> Hope that you did. Hope that you are all well and um, stay happy and healthy. And... Um, We'll get together for some uh, for some games or something. Um, anyone that is interested in learning how to play play D and D, I might run some extra sessions or something during the next holidays. All right. Yep. Everyone enjoyed the sub, the uh, live stream. And Hobo Joe Senior said, "See you again at five trillion subs." Five trillion subs. If I get five trillion subs, man, I'll be rolling in the money. Uh, <laughs> no. I will not be getting five trillion subs. That's not going to happen. If I if I get into the K's, I'll be ecstatic. So like if I get if I get a thousand subscribers, I'll I'll be over the moon. Anyway, there we are. Here is our dragon. Uh, it's getting there. I will do some more work on the base, and I'll do the highlighting on all of these scales. Um, because they are things that I didn't finish off the the highlighting of the red scales, so I'll finish I'll finish that work and I'll finish the underneath of the belly before the next session, uh, and we'll go from there. Now we had um, we had the antlings. There there was a little little um, little problem when I was trying to clean him up. He lost an arm. Eh, stick it back on. Um, so we have the Ents. I will do a video on the Ents because they they were very, very cute. We also had the Terminator Chaplain. Now this this is the one for, uh, for Joel and I have had this for way too long and I really need to get this to him so I would very much like to get that one done. Um, yeah. So uh, I think I might do a tutorial video on this one as well. If you like that idea, sound off in the in the comments and just say yes, Terminator Chaplin, yes, Ents. Um, we'll get that going. All right, ladies and gents, I think that will be it. Uh, next week's video is going to be one that I've actually uh, pre-recorded beforehand, um, just for the fact that. Uh, this is report time. Doing the live stream now was fantastic because I mean I didn't have to do a huge amount of prep work beforehand. But uh, yeah, let's let's swap camera views here. Hey, all right. So we're going to do this week. Uh, this next week's video is on this ogre juggernaut. Um, lots of fun to paint this one. Really had a good time. Um, and he has already featured in one of the videos just as a big bad in the video. So that would be good. Right, ladies and gents, love you and leave you. I will leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in and um, we'll, we'll get more videos going. Keep hobbying. Cheers.